Diwali, the festival of lights, joy and prosperity. It's that time of the year where we leave all our worries behind, start the new year with new beginnings, lots of love and happiness with our near and dear one. And we thought, how about having this grand finale episode right here with the essence of Diwali? So keeping Diwali in mind, I'd like to take the opportunity to wish all our lovely viewers a very very happy Diwali. Diwali Mubarak ko aap sabhi ko aur shuru karte hamara ye grand finale episode of Philips Present the Tusim powered by Hibani Perfect Dietary. Roses are red, violets are blue. And what good is food if not shared by two? Shavarma and I'm Rohan Nanmala and, and together, together we are the Tusim. Philips presents the Tusim powered by Hibani Perfect Diet Tea. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode and very sadly the season finale episode of Philips presents the Tusim powered by Hibani Perfect Diet Tea with me Trisha Varma and me Rohan Nanmala and I welcome each one of you all to this Diwali special episode of the Tusim today. Trisha, you know yes. there's a saying which goes as work so hard that you don't have to introduce yourself anymore. Yes, very very well said. And our today's tusim truly justifies that. Absolutely. So these lovely ladies need no introduction and it gives me immense pride and honor to welcome them on our show. So let's move ahead and have a look at who our tusim for the day are. Hi, I'm Jasmine from Gourmet and I'm Sarah from Ahlan and we're very happy to be on the tusim. So let me tell you a little bit about Jasmine. Jasmine is the editor of Gourmet magazine, which is the most popular food magazine in the Middle East. It's absolutely gorgeous and she does that as well as looking after four children and her husband. So she is a bit of a uber mum, super mum, do it all woman, and I'm hoping today that I can impress her with my food choices. Sarah is the group editor of the Ahlan group, which is the biggest selling celebrity magazine in the whole of the GCC. Um, as such, she is an amazing boss, um, and she is <laughs> meticulously organised. Just uh, don't go near her on a Monday when it's closing day. <laughs> yeah, press day is when you need to feed me. I get angry on press day. So today, I'm hoping that I'll also impress her with my food choice for her, uh, and that will make me employee of the month. Before we go ahead, we'd like to know some deep dark secrets about Sarah. Tell us something that we don't know about. Sarah uh, is the group editor of Ahlan, which means that she has probably got one of the biggest and best jobs in the whole of the celebrity world in the UAE. Of course. But rather than being uh, stuck up about it and uh, you know delegating the work to everybody else, she's extremely hardworking. It's not unlike her to be in the office at 11 or 12 midnight, you know, to make sure that she actually gets the magazine to press. Um, she's actually also an accomplished author. Oh, wow. uh, she has uh, authored three books, um, and one of which has actually been translated into seven different languages. Awesome. But there is she, there is no air of uh, conceitedness about her at all. She's the most down to earth, lovely boss that right. you could ever ask for. Well, very rarely do we get such bosses, and truly, I'm jealous. Yeah, you know, she should be. She's amazing. Yeah. And now for the final question: What is that one thing which you think we can cook for Sarah today on the tusim? Well, I'd like to challenge her taste buds a little bit. She's very much a seafood eater, and you will more often than not see her eating at her desk while she's rushing to, you know, meet one deadline or the other. Um, she's very big on seafood, not so big on chicken, but she does like a bit of spice. And I think that if we do something nice and spicy with her to do with chicken, I think we might be able to change her mind. Right. So I, we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to choose for her tawam. Tawam work. Okay, excellent. So I'd like to ask you a little about Jasmine. Um, tell me three things you like about her. Um, I really like how much she achieves in the average day. She has four children, so she has to get up at crazy o'clock in the morning, mm. make everybody's breakfast, get herself into work, mm. deal with work. She's a great team player. Everyone loves her in the office. Um, you can tell she's one of the more mature members of the team and she's a really calming, nice influence. It's nice for me to have somebody in the team that's, you know, closer to my age. But yeah, she looks younger than everybody else. So there's a little bit of envy. She just had a birthday and I did point out that she hasn't aged yet. So uh, apart from the fact that she doesn't age, um, I think I like everything about her. So what have you picked for a little special? I have picked um, something that I think she would like because she's often feeding me meat 
at okay. work. She's she's often leaving big things with bones in on my desk <laughs> to try, and uh, and I want to introduce her to the joys of vegetarianism. Um, not that I'm vegetarian, but I eat a lot of vegetarian food. Okay. Um, so the dish that I've picked is a yogurt and cottage cheese kebab. You'll have to okay. help me with the pronunciation. Oh, so that's dahika kebab. Dahika kebab. Yes, that's what fantastic. I've picked. <laughs> okay, so um, Sarah has picked her dish for Jasmine. Let's move to the kitchen to prepare it for her. Philips presents the Tucson, powered by Himani Perfect Diet Tea. Indian food is what you crave for, you have to come here and try out this amazing food. Now getting back to the ingredients over here, what are the ingredients being used for tawa e murk? Oh, cumin, mm -hmm. cashmere chilli powder, right. turmeric powder, mm -hmm. coriander powder, right. it's mixed garam masala, okay. includes uh, bay leaves, grain cardamom, mm -hmm. star anise and cinnamon stick. So these are whole uh, masala whole not masala. powder. Okay. And salt, right. crushed pepper. Finely chopped onion, right. finely chopped tomato, mm -hmm. ginger and garlic paste, right. and julienne ginger for garnish, and yogurt, beaten yogurt, and cashew nut paste, cashew nut paste and green chilli paste, right. chopped coriander, uh, ginger, right. and garlic, right. and green chilli, and chopped garlic. First, we have to marinate the chicken minimum 30 minutes with okay. yogurt, cashmere chili powder, salt, and ginger garlic paste. Okay. Okay, so two teaspoons of ginger and two teaspoons of garlic. So now our ginger garlic paste is ready, and it's time to move to the marination of the chicken. So basically the chicken is marinated and it's time now to move to the curry and we chef has already added some oil and it's heating so what do we add next oh, garam masala whole garam masala the whole garam masala yes okay and give it a lovely crackle of this for jeera okay this much is okay One teaspoon garlic, chopped garlic. You need to add the onion. Okay. How much of onion? <coughs> Four teaspoons. Now ginger garlic paste. Okay. And tomatoes. How much of tomato? Half oh, quantity. Add the masala, okay. chili powder, turmeric, and coriander powder.
somebody needs more spicy then they can add more green chili paste or chili if they are allergic to green chili then they, they can no. use red chili powder okay cool. for spicy now we have to add the cashew paste okay time now for the cashew paste so basically how long do we roast the masala over here? <coughs> um, masala around 2 to 3 minutes then we okay. have to cook it for another 5 minutes okay, with so cashew paste how much of cashew paste? Or 4 teaspoons? 4 teaspoons of the rich cashew paste over here the chicken rice so our chicken is marinated for 20 minutes and now it's time for it to go into the pan now we add some water to cook the chicken Generally, how much time would chicken take to cook? Only this. five minutes. Oh. One teaspoon of fresh green coriander. Put some more since I like it. The chef has garnished it with some ginger juliennes, some mint leaves and fresh green coriander. And the dish is ready. Philips presents The Two Sim, powered by Himani Perfect Diet Tea. Welcome back after the break to Philips Presents The Two Sim Powered by Himani Perfect Diet Tea with me Trisha Varma and Chef Feroz. So we're in the kitchen now to prepare uh, Dahi Ke Kebab exclusively made for Jasmine. So Chef, we've heard about Dahi Vada, Dahi Ki Lassi, Dahi Puri but Dahi Ke Kebab sounds very different. What's the history? The Dahi Ke Kebab actually originated from Hyderabad. Okay. And uh, this made out of hunger Okay. Uh, with some simple uh, ingredients. Grated paneer, okay. grated cheese, chopped coriander leaves, okay. chopped green chilli for, okay. for spicy okay. and chopped ginger, ginger okay. chopped coriander stem. So not many of you know that you can actually use the coriander stem for cooking. A lot of times we use just the leaf and uh, we discard the stem but chef is going to make use of the coriander stem today so let's have a look. And hunker. If you don't have uh, hunker, you can use lebne also. Lebne. Okay. And salt, okay. cardamom powder for flavor. Powder. Okay. And onion seed, kalonji. Okay. And the breadcrumb. Breadcrumbs. So let's move on to the first step of making the dish. First, we have to mix the paneer, cheese. Paneer and, and cheese. cheese. Now, you have to make okay. a fine paste. Okay. Equal quantity of uh, paneer and, and cheese. cheese. Okay. Now we have to add green chili. Okay, that is depending upon how spicy you want. Okay. So there goes the If you need more spicy, then you can add more. That's okay. enough. Depending upon how spicy you want. Ginger, or ginger. And then coriander stem. Now we're going to use the coriander stem. Chef, 
And how do you make this hang good? <laughs> they have um, they have to use the muslin cloth to get the hunger. Okay. They have to strain through the yogurt through the muslin cloth. Okay. We have to tie it and we have to hang it for uh, minimum 8 to 10 hours eight in summer. Hours. Okay. Now almost the mixture is ready. Okay. We have to add the spices. And coriander leaves, chop coriander leaves. Then you have to uh, mold it with the breadcrumbs. Okay, so now we need the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. You need to add some kalonji on it. This one you we have to keep it in the freezer for minimum twenty to thirty minutes. Okay. And then you have to take it out and you have to fry it till it gets cold and brown. So it sets nicely. Okay, so it's basically to harden the mixture so it's easier to fry. very nice beautiful green frame it looks really tasty and I'm sure it um, is as delicious as it looks so let's go ahead and give this to Jasmine and see if she loves her dish well that was an absolutely amazing experience I feel like I understand more what people mean when they say Indian hospitality um, I thought we were going to have a couple of plates of food, but five plates later, I'm still standing. And uh, although I don't think I'll be able to do any Bollywood dancing right now, um, the, the whole meal was just spectacular. Um, we're at the clay pot, the chef, Chef Franz is just amazing. Um, and then we went on to a chicken dish, which had yogurt as a marinade. Luckily, I had Jasmine as my uh, dining partner, so she was explaining how everything works and the whole day has just been amazing so thank you to some i'll be a new fan watching every week and uh happy diwali to everyone i have actually had uh, the best time here i've gone to i've been to many many restaurants it's part of what i do it's my job but the flavors and the the, the dishes that we were actually served today were impeccable and they were beautiful what I loved about today was the fact that I really got to connect with Sarah on a different level and we bonded over food and I think food is a common connection between so many people and I learned so much about her today and I actually was able to take her on a culinary journey uh, of India and the, the things that we all love to eat. My heritage is also Indian, I'm actually a Gujarati. Big thank you to the Tucson for having us and a very happy Diwali to everybody. Unfortunately, Trisha. Goodbye Alvida this is the season finale episode and the last part of the show today. Definitely. So let's not be sad because we will return very soon with a brand new season of the Tusam. So until then, this is your host Ruhan and Mala. And me Trisha Varma saying goodbye. And happy Diwali.